Have you ever wondered how to wall mount a flat screen television in the corner of a room? Well, this is not how you do that. No. Welcome to the Hippie Geeks. If you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe and leave a comment below. Let's rewind about 30 minutes back to when this entire project started. This is what our TV area looked like originally, which was always intended to be temporary. We want to wall mount the TV a little higher and bring the speakers in closer to open up the space on either side. The chests under the TV will be replaced with an entertainment center that we are going to make out of an antique set of drawers. For now though, it is time to get the TV pulled out and everything disconnected so that we can start the install of the corner wall mount. The first thing to do is get the mounting hardware bolted up to the TV. Any decent wall mount will come with the pieces you need to get the TV mounted, just make sure to look through all of them to find the right ones. Our TV has a very large VESA mounting pattern, as most bigger TVs will. I had to use some of the longer bolts on the bottom and shorter ones on the top, both with spacers to be able to use the bolts without having them bottom out inside the TV. After that, I set the rest of the mount on the TV. I wanted to make some measurements to determine how high on the wall the top bolt hole would have to be placed. Once that was figured out, it was time to get the mount set up in the corner. We had a small corner shelf mounted behind the TV to hold a couple components, and that would have to come down to make room for the corner wall mount. It pulled some of the paint down with it, but as we are planning on repainting the room soon anyways, I am not going to worry about it right now. Once the walls are cleared off, it is time to find the studs in the wall. While it is possible to use wall anchors to mount in drywall, with something this heavy I am just not willing to risk the anchors pulling out of the wall, and so will be bolting the mount directly into studs. To be able to find your wall studs, you will need an aptly named stud finder. You can get a fairly inexpensive one online or in a home improvement store, and they are well worth the investment. With my particular stud finder, I just push a button on the side to turn it on, then slowly slide it across the wall until the arrow lights up red, showing the edge of the stud. When the red arrow goes out again, that shows the other side of the stud. Once I knew where the stud was, I measured up from the floor where the top bolt needed to be, and then pre-drilled the hole with a bit that is half the size of the bolt that will be used. When bolting something like this to the wall, you want to be sure that you are bolting to the middle of the stud for maximum amount of strength and to avoid splitting the stud. I also like to screw in the bolt about three quarters of the way without the mount on the wall, just to get the hole started and make it easier once the whole assembly is up there. At this point, you can grab the wall mount and get it up into place. This is considerably easier with a second set of hands, but can be done by yourself if necessary, as shown here, and once the bolts are started, it will hold itself in place. Ratchet the bolts down fairly tight, then grab a level before pre-drilling the bottom holes. Place the level on the side of the bracket, adjust the angle until it is level, and then drill your bottom pilot hole. Get the bottom bolt started, and then tighten the top and bottom bolts all the way down. Once you have that done, pre-drill the final middle hole and get it tightened down as well. If you have tightened everything down nicely and all of the bolts are hitting a stud, there is no way that this thing is going to move. Next up is attaching the TV onto the wall mount. Do not do this part on your own. The nightmare that I showed you at the beginning of this video is a direct result of doing just that. I was obviously unable to see the back of the TV and was not able to hook it onto the wall mount. When I went to set it back down on the chest, I had it sitting too far to one side and it fell. I got a hold of it just enough as it was falling to soften the landing so that it didn't shatter as it hit the ground. Don't be like James, get a second set of eyes to help you get it mounted up there. Once it was hooked up, it was a simple matter of going back under the TV and tightening these screws here, then adjusting the tilt and tightening those bolts down as well. There it is, our TV mounted in the corner of our living room. It sits just above the speakers, and you can see the antique set of drawers sitting in place. The top drawer will be remaining, while the bottom two openings will be getting turned into shelves to hold the stereo, computer, and board games. A future video will be the transformation of the antique drawers into our entertainment center, and another one will be building a new case for the computer to go into that will resemble an old crate to better fit in. Have any of you considered wall mounting your TV? It is an excellent way to make a bit more space, though now I do have to store the base somewhere in case I want to use it again. If this is your first time here on the Hippie Geeks, it would be wonderful to have you subscribe. 
This channel is all about creating a magical life one day at a time. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and check out our Patreon page or merch store to support the channel directly. Thanks again, and we will see you on the next one.